points, two or three flags, it's 15 points each, 460, 470, and 30 is 500. I win again. I don't want to play this dumb game anymore. Anyway, there's only any more animals, just dumb buildings. So count flags, they're worth 15 and there's lots of them. No fair, you can't count golf course flags. Daddy, golf course flags don't count, do they? According to international car game rules, the driver must remain neutral. Coward. <laughs> TRF Corporation, Microchip International. Boy, it sounds like computer heaven. Computers don't go to heaven. What's a dumb girl know about computers? Robbie, I told you not to call your sister names. If she only wants to be like you because she loves you. No, I don't. Matt, I can't believe it's for real. Executive in charge of special projects. I still can't believe I'm joining a corporation. Oh, you'll be just fine. They need fresh blood. You're not sorry you're doing this, are you? No, I'm just sorry I had to put up with all those lean years. My crazy hours, Midwest winters, up to our elbows in snow. They weren't lean years, Matt. No, they were, they were. It's time we Winslows had a taste of the good life, huh, guys? Yeah. I like the snow. You didn't have to shovel it. Hey, kids, that's the building where your dad's gonna work. I don't like the building that you're gonna be working at, either. Why not? Because I can't see the people inside. Such a gorgeous kitchen. <sighs> Matt, honey, I'm gonna cook you the best meal you've ever had. What a sound. Where do you want this thing? Whatever it is. Oh, careful, careful there. You're holding the 21st century in your hands there. Wait a minute, hold it. What? Albert, get off the chair. Matt, I want you to take all your computer things and your inventions into the new lab at work. Pat, this is my baby. It's part of the family, Pat. Matt, I don't care. I want this house to be a home, not a lab. Because I love you, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take it to the lab. It's a great idea. What do you got there, games? No, inventory. You guys losing my stuff, I'll know it. Hey, we don't lose nothing. Oh yeah, I'm already missing a candy bar. Well, look around, it could be anywhere. Kids today, I don't know. to sleep in this strange place. But you just gotta get used to it. Here we sit like birds in the wilderness, birds in the wilderness, birds in the wilderness. Here we sit like birds in the wilderness, waiting to be said. Ah, oh, finally, the pizza man. I don't think it is the pizza man, Matt. They usually come to the front door. Maybe it's a zombie. Mommy. Hey, hey, hey. Give you another sandwich, you little character. Sounds 
like a job for the head of the household. Want to check it out, Pat? Absolutely not. Here. Zombies. Definitely. They do stuff like that. Come on, Robbie, come out. Tell them you haven't changed a bit since college. Still a primitive, tasteless sense of humor, but a highly advanced gourmet <laughs> sense of humor. Huh? Okay, kids. We need only over hard services. Kids. Well, the masks cool. were Tom's idea, right. not mine. We're getting ready for a big costume ball later this month at the club. Really? Anyway, welcome to paradise. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Tell you what, let's get some wine. I'll show you in my kitchen. Okay. <laughs> Look, this is great. I'm telling you. When I heard that that you were coming. I was so happy you have oh, no idea. thanks to you. You did a lot of arm twisting, I'll Not bet. at all. We were to spread of your invention, I'm telling you. When the company heard, they wanted to get you right into the project. You, you brilliant, <laughs> renegade, unpatented genius, you. Uh, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they heard about my sensors, right? Well, they sure have, and I'll tell you something. With a huge corporation behind you like this, it's going to be great. Yeah. And I'll sell it. See, you look good, I look good. So I was just yeah. taking care of numero uno here. <laughs> a song, a song to celebrate, huh? Right. What do you say? Right. 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 Be like old times, huh? Patricia, the struggling music major. Remember we used to sing around that horrible old upright piano in the dorm? I remember. <laughs> Is this the same one? Oh, just the same budget. <laughs> Oh, it's a little out of tune. <laughs> Just a little. Don't worry about it. The days of out-of-tune pianos and uh, beat-up furniture is over for you two, so just relax. To friends. To success. Cheers. Days of out of tune pianos and beat up furniture are over, Matt. Rock! Said the parrot as they finally sighted the island and they lived happily ever after in about a condominium in Miami Beach. Oh, Daddy. Oh, Daddy. All right. Little sleepy dust there. Little sleepy dust there. Give me a kiss. Now it's time to sleep with the angels, my little cookie, okay? Night, night. Night, night. Who's winning? The Plasmic Warriors got three of my fighters, but I just blasted their whole mothership into hyperspace. Well, now that the galaxy is safe for democracy, you can go to sleep, right? Right. So if I just save the galaxy, how come I can't go to that Halloween party Jimmy's going to? Well, who says you can't? Jimmy said members only can go. It's not some stupid club. Are they members? Gonna be. He says everybody that's anybody around here belongs to the club, or is trying to. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? I think Jimmy's a nerd. I'll try to keep an open mind, old bean. It's one of your best traits. Go to sleep. Welcome, Commander of Earth Forces. Be advised, in 
invaders approaching your galaxy. Hi, sailor. I'm like a baby. <laughs> Matt Winslow, meet Larry Ferris. How you doing? Uh, Larry is my sponsor at Steaming Springs. You know the club? All right, uh, Thomas told me all about you. Oh, well, sometimes Peterson speaks before he thinks. Micro Digitech, we like it the other way around. Welcome aboard. Thanks. Buddy Ferris's warmth is positively reptilian. He's a great guy once you get to know him. I think he's a little ticked off because he had to ride in my old jalopy today. <laughs> you guys don't usually carpool? Hey, Ferris? No, no, that's my boss. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, he had a flat tire and he was a little touchy probably because of that. Ferris in my junker. He must have been dying. <laughs> Grace Henderson, I want you to be my old fraternity buddy, Matt Winslow. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mr. Winslow. Ah, uh, it's Matt. I've prepared an operations manual for you. It's on your desk. Oh, thank you. She is a marvel. <laughs> now, uh, this is uh, my office. Believe me, it is not that much to look at. So we'll move right on to yours over okay. here, practically next there door. Not too bad for starters, huh? Not bad. Now, let's go see your baby. Okay. Like I said, the government wants a man on Venus in the next three years, and when he gets there, he's going to be wearing a suit made by Micro Digitech and uh, <clears throat> perfected by you, my friend. What do you think? Well, that's uh, interesting. <laughs> Darn right. When he gets there, you know, it's going to be a bit of a hot time. We want to make sure he doesn't turn into a human french fry. <laughs> oh, okay, watch this. Okay, he's also go. armed. All right. Okay, Ready? here we go. Power up. That hurts. That hurts. Nothing will stand up to that. Killer bricks, huh? <laughs> watch this. All right, set the new shield in place. Now, by the way, how do you like your uh, steaks? Charred or obliterated? Uh, medium rare. <laughs> Go ahead, fellas. Huh? Is that a suit or is that a suit? It's not bad. And, uh, not bad? <laughs> Not bad at all. What sort of onboard systems do you have on it now? Well, uh, on the suit we have uh, radio, weapons, oxygen, everything to keep the guy alive. It's going to be up to you to add the final touches. All right, an onboard computer hooked up to my sensors. That's right. We want this suit to be completely self-contained. Right. We want it to think. The guy inside's got to be like a pilot, not like a salami stuffed in his skin. Give me and my team two weeks, and this suit will think. It'll inform its occupant of everything vital and life-threatening going on around it. Automatically. Temperature, atmosphere, even other beings within range. Other beings within range? You mean it'll be able to sense if there's something non-human out there? My friend, we are going to build a suit for the 21st century. I mean, the 20th is darn near over, right? Right. <laughs> Yeah. 
You know, Mary turned me on to this great new furniture store. Can you imagine what this place would look like completely redone? Chrissy, come down for breakfast. Well, I guess the couch could be recovered if, in fact, we can't afford to buy a new one. Are you listening to me, Matt? Mm. Matt, read my lips. The place looks like a fraternity house. Yeah, I know. It's great, huh? Friendly. I want to refurnish it. I want to make it pretty and bright. We're grown up now. You work for a big corporation. I'm the wife of a big wheel. You want our children to bring their friends home and have them laugh at the place? Foul. Bringing kids into an argument is beneath you, Patricia. You're not ashamed to bring your friends home from school, are you, Robbie? What friends? So how's school, anyway? Flunked his first math quiz. Robbie, you failed a math test? So I had an off day. Hi, Jimmy. Come Hi. on in. Thank you. Is your mom with you? No, she's at the club. Gonna be made members tomorrow. And Dad and Mom are over there signing papers or something. Oh, that's terrific. Hi. 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 This is Billy Ferris. Your dad works for his dad. I was telling him about your computers and everything. Hi. You got Astro Bomber. Yeah, of course. I get twenty dollars, says you lose. I don't bet money anymore, but I'll bet you this house you're full of hot air. Come on. <laughs> That's my boy. This furniture sure is old. Let's go look at some new furniture. Oh, Matt. <laughs> Love you. Yeah, I know. Your mothership has been blasted to hyperspace. Hey, what are you doing? No one beats me. No one. What are you looking at? Nothing. Wanna go get a cookie? Sure. Let's go get a cookie. I've heard noisier rocks than you two recently. The reason why we aren't talking is because Billy Ferris. Billy Ferris what, honey? Oh, nothing, Mom. Ah! Ah! Oh, Damn it! It's okay, kids. Yeah, I'm fine. You guys are all right, huh? Yeah, we're yeah, okay, Matt. What are you, some kind of maniac? We, got, we could have been killed. I got two small children in there. I'm terribly sorry. I was in such a hurry. This was all my fault, really. Yeah, you're right. It was your fault. I like the name of your insurance company. I would like to accommodate you, Matthew. But I am in a hurry. Chrissy and Robbie are okay, aren't they? And Patricia? Uh, yeah, they're all right, but... Tom Peterson told me all about you and your lovely family. Perhaps you'll pay me a visit soon at the club. I don't even know who you are. Jessica Jones. I'm the club's director. Well, that's uh, real nice, Miss Jones. I still like to have the name of your insurance company. 
I don't think that will be necessary, Mr. Winslow. Sir, Miss Jones is in a hurry. Yes. And again, I'm sorry for any inconvenience. Inconvenience? What about my car? I know it doesn't look like much to you, but it's the only car I got. I have to have the whole front end reliant. Everything will be taken care of to your satisfaction, sir. Now, why don't you get back to the wife and children? Hey, I, I, I've been driving 20 years. I've never seen an accident handled like this. Matthew. Matthew. If you don't mind my calling you that. Look, I do mind, all right? Here, we're a small, tight-knit, and we like to think friendly community. And because of it, we do things a little differently. I'm sure you get my drift, don't you, Matthew? Yeah, I do. I don't like your drift. Come on, Matt, let's go. It's history, okay? Howdy, kids. Having a nice day? Mrs. Winslow? Drive carefully, Matthew. You are now accepted into the inner circle and by this symbolic entrance into our ancient spring you forever forsake the mundane world and merge yourselves into the protective exclusive shield of the club do you forsake all for the club i do and enter into the spring and taste its power. sensors. Twenty-one degrees Celsius. Seventy degrees Fahrenheit, room temperature. All right. Okay. I want you to target the match. The center of the target area. Nine twenty-six Celsius. Seventeen hundred degrees Fahrenheit. Nice flame temperature. Perfect. We go for the gold. Look straight ahead. No peaking. Ready? Human, terrestrial, benign. It's amazing! It's working! Wait, 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 wait! Ready? Non-human terrestrial benign! <laughs> Just reads auras, sort of. A capper's gonna be if it can spot hostile non-terrestrial life forms. How you ever gonna know? Well, I'm working on the computer to feed it synthetic data dissimilar from any life form we have on Earth. Once we do that, we'll see how the helmet reacts to it. Mr. Winslow, give me security. Uh, never mind, it's a false alarm. Grace, aren't you kind of off limits? I mean, if they found you in here, you'd be canned. Well, if you feel you should turn me in, I'll understand. Just do what your conscience tells you. Grace, employment files. I, I've got something I want you to read, Matt. Matt Winslow. Matt Winslow, are you back in here? Uh, oh, hello. I'm Harry Thompson, president of the company. Yes, sir. Matt, listen, come with me. There's somebody out here that I want you to meet.
Jessica, allow me to present Matt Winslow. This is Miss Jones of the Steaming Springs Country Club. Hello again, Matt. Hello again. You've met before? Oh, we've uh, bumped into each other once or twice. Well, you're just the sort who should join her club. I've heard great things about you. Thank you, sir. Anyway, I thought you might let Miss Jones have a peek at your lab. Uh, sir, that's uh, pretty classified stuff. Uh, help, Miss Jones is family. Show her the suit. And then, would you join me in my office? Yes, sir. Right this way. This is the main computer test bank, which brings us back to the suit, which will be fully automated, fire resistant, anti corrosive. It will also have the capabilities of. Did you play a sport in college? What? A sport. Yeah. Rowing. This helmet. I uh, knew it. I could tell from the way your body is muscled. Lean, yet very strong. You should join the club, Matthew. Lots of exercise equipment, lots of pleasurable things. Plus top people, people on their way up, like you. Well, I guess I'm just not much of a joiner. Some things can do a lot more for you than you think. Uh, I'll think about it. Right this way. Follow me. Where's Tom? In his office. His office is empty. It's cleaned out. In his office, room three, the executive wing. See you in a minute. Matt, I just wanted to say... Thanks. Sure. Okay, whose office is this? Is this your office? You got promoted! Tom, you got promoted! <laughs> well, aren't you excited? Yeah, I am. It just took him damn long enough. What? I, I think you'd be swinging from the chandeliers. Yeah, I would, I would. Look, all, all we have, though, is this uh, recessed lighting, you know. <laughs> That's great. So, how about it? Do I have your okay? For what? To sponsor you at the club? Oh, Tom. Come on. I'm club. in. I can get you in. I'm very tight with Miss Jones. Yeah, you know, she seems to be tight with a lot of people. You know, Thompson, our president, actually had me showing her our supposedly top secret suit. Whoops. Okay. See what I mean? You join the club, you start rubbing shoulders with top, top people. Yeah. Look, Tom, I appreciate what you're trying to do. I I'm just not sure it's right for me, that's all. It'd be great for the kids, it would be a terrific social outlet for Patricia, and it'd be fantastic for you. Look, before you can really get a head around here, you've got to learn to play the game. Step over a few bodies. Rub shoulders with the people at that club. Those are the facts of life. Maybe your life, not my life. Look, Tom, I appreciate your advice and what you're trying to do. I got to get back to programming. I just uh, listen to me, Matt. This is great, Matt. buddy. I, mean, I can't believe this. This is just great. Congratulations again. Matt. It's a nice suit.
It sounded pretty. Well, thank you. Yeah, we got the piano tune. Oh. Well, you, you sure you don't mind about this? Oh, I don't mind at all. Hey, cutie pie, you ready for the slumber party? Yeah. Great. <laughs> hey, kids, Janie, Jimmy, and Billy are here. Upstairs. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Well, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Oh, this. you're welcome. It's fine. Mary! Is that a new car? <laughs> it's a beauty, isn't it? Wow. Tom bought it. Just a little something to run around in. Just a little something? <laughs> you're kidding? This is no little something. <laughs> Wow. Well, oh, I've got to get going. Oh, I wish you were a member. You know, club parties can be so much fun. Everyone who's anyone will be there. Oh, you know what I mean. I just wish Matt weren't being so stubborn. Bye. The last ten years haven't been easy on us, Matt. And I want a piece of the pie. And if the club can help us have that, I don't see where there's any crime. I don't think it's out of line to want something that we deserve, Matt. Tricia, now who's not listening? I'm trying to tell you how I feel. Everyone at work is climbing all over each other, no matter what the cost. That damn club, that's all anybody ever talks about. It's a little scary, Pat. I'm a little scared. It's not just in my head. Maybe you are afraid. Afraid of success. Matt! I said, go to bed. I mean it. Gotcha! <laughs> Made you jump, Mr. Winslow? All right, all of you, go on. Go to bed right now. I mean it. Winslow. I'm Tracy Winters. Where's Mrs. Henderson? Oh, Mr. Thompson himself let her go. I've arranged for your staff meeting at 11 o'clock sharp, and the new data on your suit will be on your desk no later than 3. Yeah, but what happened to Mrs. Henderson? Well, I haven't the slightest idea, but I can tell you that when Mr. Thompson does something, he does it for a very good reason, and it stays done. I understand how you feel, Winslow, but Mrs. Henderson was just not 
company timber. Timber? What are we talking about here? People or trees? More importantly, her loyalty was at issue. Here at Microdigitech, we demand absolute loyalty. Loyalty? She was the best secretary I've ever and had. And once a decision is made, we expect our employees to put aside personal feelings and pull together. It would be a shame to jeopardize all the fine work you've been doing for us here. All right, that does it. We don't need to get all worked up. I'm sure that we can reach a compromise. Look, if you feel the same way about it in two weeks, you'll have Mrs. Henderson back. How's that a deal? All right. Two weeks. Good, good. Now that we've got that out of the way, Tom Peterson tells me that you are becoming a member of Steaming Springs. I am. Fantastic. Just fantastic. I look forward to your becoming one of us. The club is a special place. Very special. Keep up the good work. We've got a world-class golf course, landscape gardens, the riding trails back in there, lighted tennis courts, of course, of course. <laughs> uh, and a uh, stupendous view almost anywhere you turn your eyes. Really, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just kidding, Patricia. Uh, you know, even though I'm vice president in charge of marketing, I don't know what it is about you two. It brings the salesman out in me. I, I don't know. So come on, what do you say? I didn't see a basketball court. Oh, would you please? What's basketball. in there, Tom? Oh, over, there. over here. Perhaps I can help you with that. Oh, uh, Matt, I think you know Miss Jones. Yeah. Uh, Patricia Winslow, this is uh, Jessica Jones. Matt, nice to see you again. Hello, Patricia. How do you do? Well, I must say I just love your dress. The color is so becoming to you. Oh, well, thank you, Miss Jones. But if we're going to be friends, and I sincerely hope we will be, you have to start calling me Jessica immediately. <laughs> Come on, I'll, I'll show you around personally. This is unusual. She doesn't let anybody call her by her first name. You're as good as in. Go, go. Hey. This is my favorite room. All our members are encouraged to work out, stay trim, attractive. But you already know how important that is, don't you, Patricia? Elizabeth, hi, you're doing great. Frank Stepson, president of CD Computer Corp. Meet Matt Winslow, Microdigitech. Hi. Hi. As soon as you climb aboard here, I'd like to talk to you about that spacesuit you're working on. I've heard some good things about you. We are a tight knit family here. News of a prospective new member travels fast. The highest levels. And once you go through our trial period where we get to know you and you get to know us, then the initiation is a simple matter. Well, how long will that take, Jessica? Four weeks. Maybe even three, depending on how quickly you can fit in. Sure, there'll be no problem. It's really nice of you to say. Wouldn't that be exciting, Matt? Uh, yeah. yeah. However, if Robbie and Chrissy wish to attend our annual Halloween ball with all their friends, you will, of course, have to already be full-fledged members. Ah, now I know why all the kids in the neighborhood have been trying to scare the pants off me. If you will follow me, I'll take you back up to the formal area of our club. <laughs>
seem to have lost you, Matthew. I, I thought I heard someone crying for, uh, for help. It was probably someone crying out in ecstasy. Pleasure can make you feel that good, you know. Oh, no, no, it was more like... You don't care that much about money, I can tell. But you care about power. And you care about pleasure, don't you? Yes. I don't know. Do you trust me? Matthew. I like you. And I will personally see to it that your membership here is as pleasurable as possible. I better get back to Patricia. Matt, where have you been? I'll tell you later. Let's just get out of here. Oh, but wait. Jessica's just invited us for lunch, and I want to go. I said come on. Well, I'm certainly not the child here. Okay, you want to have lunch with Jessica? You go right ahead. I'll just do that. Maybe you ought to join up, Patricia. Join the in crowd. Matt, please come with me. No. You come with me. Was Janie there? Yeah, honey. Janie and Jimmy were there with the rest of the kids. They were helping decorate for that Halloween thing they're having. Did the pool have a diving board? Hmm? Patricia, you seem troubled. Well, it's just that it's so lovely here. I really like it so much, I just wish that Matt felt the same way. What is it about this place that frightens some people? That frightens Matt into thinking we're something to be resisted? That frightens you into thinking that we're so formal we can't bend the rules a little for someone who so clearly belongs in this club? Miss Jones. Jessica. Jessica, I'm not sure what you're saying. I'm simply saying that if you want to join and the children want to join, there's no reason the club has to be religious about its rule that families join as a unit. You mean it'd be okay if the kids and I join without Matt? Why in the world not? Why should the kids miss the Halloween ball? Why should you miss the company of people you prefer? Of course, if you'd like to think it over, When can we do it? <sighs> Patricia, Robbie, Chrissy, you are now accepted into the inner circle. And by this symbolic entrance into our ancient spring, do forever forsake the mundane world and merge yourselves into the protective, exclusive shield of the club. 
Do you forsake all for the club? I do. I do. Then enter into the spring and taste its power. No, I'm afraid. Chrissy. It will be all right. Go ahead. Beds made, I was sure I was in the wrong house. I only have time for a cup of tea. Don't you look nice? Thank you, darling. Thought you deserved a little extra rest this morning. Just consider it. Uh, what's really going on here? You ding the car while I was sleeping? Something happened at the club. Mm -hmm. One of those snobs say something? The club was just great, Dad. We liked it a lot. We wish you'd... Join. Robbie let Albert in, huh? Oh, honey, I think Albert's perfectly happy outside. dog. Just stay out there. Patricia, what are you doing? He's obviously frightened by something. Don't scare him anymore. I'm sorry, Matt. It's just that he was growling at the children, and I thought that, you know, that I would... I'll go check it out. Oh, no, it's okay. Honey, you're late to work, so go ahead. Uh, I'll take him to the vets if you want. Probably just something he ate. Okay? I'll well, take care of it. It's all right. All right. For a second there, it looked like he was afraid of you guys. Oh, don't be silly. You have a lovely day, honey. I'll take care of Albert. See you later. Time, genius. Buy your beer? Uh, no thanks, not today, Tom. Want to get something off your chest? Uh, just family stuff. We've talked family stuff before. Oh, well, it's no biggie. It's just that my wife and kids felt like strangers this morning. Starting to feel like we live in two separate worlds these days. I know what it is. I know you don't want to hear this, but your wife and kids want you to join the club. No, you don't know. I mean, they've changed, Tom. Even the family dog has changed. Sounding crazy? <laughs> Bananas. <laughs> Look, it hasn't changed me at all, has it? Still the same guy. The only thing is, I've got a promotion and a higher gasoline bill. <laughs> Think about it. Miss Winters. Hello. Hello. Uh, 
Matt Winslow? Uh, you remember Mrs. Henderson, don't you? Who? Oh, Grace, yeah. Well, this is Walt, her husband. I run a animal clinic and kennels. Yeah, she mentioned her husband was a veterinarian, right? There's something I've got to talk to you about. I hope that I'm not out of line calling you at the office. Uh, no, no, you're not out of line. As a matter of fact, I was meaning to call Grace. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I just stepped away from my desk for a minute. Uh, would you like me to take that call for you? Uh, no, no, it's, uh, it's all right. It's a uh, family. You can go on home, Miss Swinners. All right. Good night. Now, uh, what's your address? Tell me again what happened. Well, your wife brought the dog here this morning, said she got our name from a card Grace had given you. Oh, yeah, I remember the uh, card was on the fridge. Well, she brought the animal in and said that it had attacked her children and that that was the final straw. Final straw? She said the dog was vicious from day one, probably some kind of brain tumor. Couldn't be trusted with people anymore. What? Said I should put him out of her misery, the way she put it. That's a son like how does she love that dog? Did you do it? She wanted to watch. I told her I didn't operate that way. Then she said she'd have to take the dog somewhere else. She kept saying how dangerous he was and how he had to be killed. So I told her that I would do it after she was out of the drive. I told her there wasn't another vet for 50 miles. In short, I lied through my teeth. So I don't do that. But I did. <laughs> Hey, Albert, come here, boy. Come on, come on. Hey, how you doing? Oh, boy. Now, you tell me, is that a vicious dog from day one? Patricia, the colors, uh, I thought you wanted something more cheerful. Oh, that. <laughs> well, I spoke to Jessica, and she said that the mood is what's in this year. Oh, did you have a rough day, darling?
Patricia, where's the dog? You mean Albert? Albert's at the vet's. I talked to the vet, Patricia. He's my ex-secretary's husband, remember? He told me what you said. He told me what you did. All those lies. I try and give you everything you want, Matt. I try to be a perfect wife, a perfect mother, a perfect lover. Everything you want and need. Now, do I ask for very much in return? All I do is ask you to spend more time with the children and me. I mean, choose us over a dog that may be rabid or even worse. I don't know. Matt, just give us a little bit more of yourself. Just enough to keep us together. Join us, Matt. Join us before we become a family of strangers. Okay, Patricia. It's all right. It's gonna be all right. Okay. Okay. It's me, Matt Winslow. Listen, has Grace gotten back yet? She's dead, Matt. Highway Patrol says she must have fallen asleep. I don't know. She went off the road into a tree. 
my God. Walla. So sorry. The car burned, Matt. There wasn't anything left. I forgot the new uh, furniture was coming today. Can't believe how different it makes the place feel. Wait a minute. There's a new piano, too? We, we didn't buy a piano, did we? Isn't that a wonderful instrument? Matt, did you hear how I sounded? <laughs> it's uh, a little different from the gentle Patricia I used to know. Gentle Patricia, huh? Where did that get me? Where has that gotten any of us? This? What I want, Matthew, is some power. And we can have it if we join the club. We can have the power to have the things that we want. <laughs> I guess... <laughs> I guess I just got a little out of control, Matt. I, I wanted to make a point, you know. Where did this piano come from? Oh, well, you're not going to believe this, but uh, to make up for that near miss we had the other day, she gave it to us. She gave it to me. Miss Jones. Jessica. She's so incredible. Yeah, incredible. Read, Matt. Matt Winslow. I look forward to your becoming one of us.
I'm getting there. Don't let any more fly up, please. Fine, fine, Larry. Just keep it moving. Just don't want to send armed vehicles into the air. Don't worry. Just keep it moving. Just don't want to send armed vehicles into the air. Don't worry. Just keep it moving. Just don't want to send armed vehicles into the air. Don't worry. Just keep it moving. Just don't want to send armed vehicles into the air. Don't worry. Just keep it moving. Just don't want to send armed vehicles into the air. Don't worry. Just keep it moving. Just don't want to send armed vehicles into the air. Don't worry. Just keep it moving. Just don't want to send armed vehicles into the air. Don't worry. Just keep it moving. Just don't want to send armed vehicles into the air. Don't worry. Just keep it moving. Just don't want to send armed vehicles into the air. Don't worry. Just keep it moving. Just don't want to send armed vehicles into the air. Don't Degrees. No human can stand that. to be home, Chrissy. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. We don't like nice. We don't like nice. We do not like nice. We do Maybe not like Daddy nice. Okay. Get away from me. You're not my daughter. Tell me where my daughter is. But I am your daughter. No, you're not. She's down there through those springs, isn't she? Good, Chrissy is. But now you've just got bad, Chrissy. Bad, 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 Chrissy. You tell me how I can get her back. You tell me. You can. You're burned. Chrissy, stop it! Don't hurt yourself! 
Lucy, I'm gonna get you back the only way I know how. Honey? What are you doing, Matt? Thomas, you, I... Uh, I was just going to run some tests on the suit. At 8 o'clock on a Saturday night? <laughs> well, you know what they say. Night old mine is the devil's playground. Then why do I see fear in your eyes? You're not one of us, Matt. You had your chance and you blew it. You're a loser. Tom? We are the winners. We have to get rid of the losers. Costume. How's your car running? Uh, it's, uh, great. Just, just great. The party's inside? Yeah. Go right in. suit out of the lab? Hey, half the uh, aerospace executives are here tonight. Besides, what better way to promote the suit, huh? Yeah, it's only a market, but it's not the real thing. <laughs> hey, that's genius. That's, that's pure sales genius. <laughs> hey, everybody, take a look at Peterson. Lawrence. Thank <laughs> you. 
some costume. Peterson's bound to win the prize. It's not Tom Peterson. Run from me? Do you think your weapons can touch me?
you, there's something you must admit to yourself. Everyone who joined the club, everyone who walked through that doorway at the Springs did so willingly. Now you can choose power too, Matt, and free yourself. Submit. No, don't! Don't go in there! Not even your suit can shield you in there. Matthew. Matthew! She's locked from you. Dangerous to touch her. Terribly dangerous. Trisha, I'm going to get you out. I promise. I'm going to take you back, Matt. Oh! I warned you, Matthew. You, you should listen to me. You'll be destroyed if you try to break in on her now. Besides, that's just the weak Patricia. No. She's the good Patricia. That's what you've done, isn't it? You've taken all the love, all the good people who joined the club, and put them down here. Well, I want the good Patricia back. She's hardly worth it. And you can have me. Oh, Matthew. I was so foolish. Thinking to tempt you with money or position. What you really want is to taste the fire. You know it's true. You're bored with anything less now. Admit it. You want me. I want my wife. I want my kids. I want my family. I condemn you, Matthew. I can curse your soul to this place for eternity if I want. I don't think you can. You said so yourself. All you can do is lie and tease and tempt. The choice is up to us. It's up to me. Patricia. Matthew! Patricia. Remember where we were when we loved each other. When we cared about each other more than anything else. Patricia. I love you. Matthew! 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 I love you! Dad! Daddy! I can't breathe! Don't touch him! Bobby! Call him! Don't touch him! Bobby!
dear God. Oh, dear God. Where have we been, Matt? It's okay, Pat. It's okay, we're home. We're together. I love you. Yes, honey, it's all gone. Bunny's hungry. Guess I better feed Bunny, huh? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Are you coming in? I'll be right there. 